What's going on with you and Tito? Why does Tito openly say that he, huh. he didn't like you or he doesn't like you? Man, I don't know. You know, it's uh, is that real or is that is he like in character? No, it's real. I mean, he's actually the only fighter that uh, I think currently blocked me on Twitter, and I have never even said anything <laughs> to him. So it, it started with Tito and I. Tito actually is another one of those guys who was really cool to me when I when I started. Like, w- w- was was cool to do interviews and was very accessible when you know I I didn't have much of a following. And um, UFC, I believe it was 132. He's about to fight Ryan Bader. And I interviewed him and I said to him, you know, what do you think is Ryan Bader's biggest weakness? And he said his takedowns and his takedown defense. And to me, I was like, huh, that's an interesting answer because as you may know, Ryan Bader went to Arizona State University. He's a, you know, division one wrestler, all American. I mean, he's a wrestler, you know, so to say that his takedown is take, you'd think he'd say something like his striking, you know, his jujitsu, something like that. So the next day there's a press conference and, um, I said to Ryan Bader, uh, yeah, you know, I, I spoke to uh, Tito Ortiz, and he said that uh, he thought that your wrestling was your biggest weakness. And he goes, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Why are you putting words in my mouth? Why are you trying to, why are you trying to start trouble? I'm like, you did say that. You said it's takedowns. That's a part of wrestling. That's like someone saying, um, you know, I don't know, player X is is, uh, is is a bad shooter. And then I say to him, well, you know, uh, this guy said that, you know, you you can't hit threes. I didn't say that. Well, yeah, you did say that. You said he's a bad shooter, and and part of sh- you know, shooting threes is shooting. You know what I mean? Yeah. So takedowns, takedown defense is wrestling. And so he got all fired up about that. And um, he wins. He submits Bader. He goes to the to the back where I am, and he's like yelling like "f you," this that starts like yelling, and he's like, "I'm never talking to you." All this stuff. Yeah, shove it up. Blah 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 blah. I don't really remember. It was like six years ago. And then. Didn't like me. He fought at 140 in Toronto. I asked him a question at the press conference. He's like, I'm not talking to you. And he, Dana actually told him to answer the question. And so then he answered it. And I, I thought he was being a little childish, but whatever. I mean, just because of that. Um, and then he got out of the UFC and got out of the game and was actually starting to uh, manage fighters. And then all of a sudden he liked me again. When he, when he needed me, when he needed my show, when it was good for him to be on, then he came on and then he did interviews with me. And then he went to Bellator, and then he had some success, and he wore a uh, an Os- like this is like last year now. He he wears an Osama bin Laden T-shirt with a big X on it, and I said, and I I tweeted something to the effect of like, is it really apropos in 2015 or 16 to be wearing a shirt with Osama bin Laden? Like, can we move on from this? You know what I mean? With the big X, it, like it's just everything about Tito is just kind of stuck in the mid 2000s. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, it's the same shtick. And so he got all mad about that, and then I think he blocked me. But you know what was interesting? Um, when No, no, he actually didn't block me. You know why I know that? Because when I got banned, I talk about all the support and all that. He was, And he doesn't even have a good relationship with Dana White. I mean, there's no love lost there. He was tweeting to Dana and tagging me in the tweet saying that I'm a scumbag and that I deserved it and was totally kicking me when I'm down. And I'm like, man, Tito, like, whatever you may think of me, I've never done anything like that to you. Like, this is my career you're talking about. I have a family. This is my livelihood. And you're going to be that guy to go to Dana who doesn't even like you, who openly doesn't like you. You're trying to suck up to him by crapping on me because you think that it will get you in, in his good graces. That, to me, said a lot about Tito Ortiz. And so, um, again, I've, I even asked him to be on my show before the jail fight. It's not personal with me. He's the one that ended up blocking me, I, you know, but – if you're asking why, I think that's why. Is that a valid reason to not like me, though? I mean, like telling you, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, hiding anything. Does that really sound like something, you know, that should be that he should be all upset about? No, but you know, you're coming from <laughs> you're coming from a very rational point of view, and, and a lot of times, yeah. whether it's fighting, uh, whatever sport it may be, guys are motivated by many different things, and I've maybe that helps him, maybe that motivates him to try to. I don't know, prove everybody wrong or have somebody out there that he can hate. And the more people that you could, you could hate, maybe that, that's your, your motivation to get in the gym and, and do all that work. I don't know, man. I wish no, I, no, listen, I knew. spoken, spoken like a, a true athlete. You're hundred percent right. If, if he needs that, then more power to him. Um, it, it, it did, I'm not going to lie, bother me that he was tweeting that stuff to Dana, but again, I wouldn't block him or even respond to him. And like I said, I tried to get him on my show before the chail fight and, um, the PR people told me that he said no, so whatever.